Hello, I'm Richard LePage from RWL Services Limited, based in East Anglia. We're an independent agricultural engineering firm covering Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex and Cambridgeshire, carrying out servicing, calibration and NSTS testing on potato application equipment. Here we have a Horstein microband granule applicator, which in this instance is attached to a bioengineering bed mixer. The applicator is designed to accurately apply nematicide granules to the soil that's then correctly incorporated with the bed mixer. Over 60% of the land in the UK is infested with PCN, potato seed nematode, which costs the UK potato industry around 50 million pounds a year. 35,000 hectares of land are treated with nematicide every year, costing the grower around 15 million pounds. The future of these nematicide granules is under a lot of question because of their toxicity to the environment and the operator. The microband is what we call a PDA, a positive displacement applicator. Therefore, one rotor delivers to one fishtail and one outlet, which is far more accurate than any other machine. One major consideration with choice of rotor is the product you're going to use. We found in the past that nemethorin is very abrasive and destroys the aluminium rotors very quickly, so we can't use them there, but we can use them with other products. We've tried to select the right rotor and right size of rotor for all three products, so that the operator doesn't have to get involved with the cassettes. One of the biggest problems we come across, and what is most crucial, is the cassette gets put in upside down. When it's upside down, it just doesn't work. The product gets inside and it grinds it up and it turns into dust and paste and stalls everything and the machine doesn't work. It's best if the operator doesn't get involved with the cassette itself. This is the control box for the microband that goes in the cab. And this particular machine is an electric drive. We call it an electric wizard drive, which is fully automated and no land wheel drive is necessary. This is a metering cassette with the individual metering rotors inside which then drop the product down through the pipe, through the fishtail, onto the soil. Any damage or discrepancy in here will lead to inaccurate and inefficient application of chemical. Simply replacing wall rotors that deliver plus or minus 5% than the intended rate is so easily recovered in the chemical savings or increased efficacy. The metering rotors are the most important part of the whole machine. They are essentially the nozzle of the granule applicator. A major part of the NSTS test is the output check. We do an output check to collect the product from each individual fishtail, weigh it and make sure it's within plus or minus 10% of the average. As important as the NSTS test is a product calibration for the grower with the actual product he's going to use. So we could do an NSTS output check with sand or salt or rice, but to do it with the product that he's going to use and that the same batch from that year is vitally important. Ultimately, this is a very accurate piece of equipment, applying some very expensive chemical, doing a very important job. And the last thing it needs is to be hit with a hammer or have the usual farmer treatment. <laughs>